a social media influencer. It's my job to post pictures and stories that make people watch my stories and aspire to be like me. For instance, Sunday morning, I should have woke up, put a post, out for six mile run, just getting it done. Then maybe a picture of a happy family having breakfast and uh, out for a walk. It's just, you know, it's like, happy Sunday. The reality is uh, everyone was in bad form this morning because the kids went to bed late. Jay was up at half five. Vicky was kind of hungover. And um, the only running that was done was I was ran into town to get toilet paper. And if I hadn't done that, we'd be wiping our arse with the grass outside. Also, I was today years old when I figured out that if you type in IlluminatiBackwards.com, it gets to the NSA, Central Security Service website. Trade. It's interesting. I don't know what that means or what relevance it has. But it's interesting. It's interesting. Mad. I don't know whether you can hear that or not, but I can hear Jane Crane down there. She's been bawling for the last 15 minutes. She's just wild snoring. And Vicky has just decided that the answer to all her problems is walk. Now I know that that's not the answer. And I'm better off here working. But I go. I go because I'll do what I'm told. Do you hear? Listen. Listen. Anyway. I should be here working because I'm working tomorrow as well. And I, I need to get orders done. But, um, yeah. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday. I really do. I hope that it's nice and calm and quiet. I wouldn't change it for the world, you know? I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> I'd be a blue whale because they have social and family bonds and they get to travel deep to the ocean. Imagine the things that they see. Mr. Harpoon. I wouldn't like to be Harpoon now. This soldier works for John and Barry. John is my brother-in-law and Barry is my bro. And they have machines and lorries. Me and Garrett and Greg would have all worked for them at one stage. Now we're all... I'm hoping to go this year. I just hope it doesn't coincide with the cannonball. And... I won't be selling any merchandise ad, absolutely not, but I will probably sell my body. I'm absolutely not telling porkies. They are up. They just don't go over 3XL. Sorry about that. They're only for small men. Oh, I seen it. I seen he's some cunt of a man. That's how the other half live. Now here I am, in the gutter, working all the time. And Alan's off in bandit country, rocking around in a Porsche given to him by fucking Kevin Kennedy Morris. They're looking for a Porsche. Everyone seems to be saying that, and I want to thank everyone for listening. I really, really appreciate it. Really do. Well, you wouldn't want to have a complex on this show, would you? No, you wouldn't. I don't feel super either, if that makes me feel any better. <laughs> I would love to take you up on that offer, except I don't tan, I just burn. And I'm not a big fan of hot weather, so I'd be like, No, I don't want the sun! But, appreciate the offer. You're so nice. You're so nice. The two. The same as before the two Ponzi's came and we double shift whatever has to be drove. So if the harvester has to be drove, we drive the harvester. If the forwarder has to be drove, we double shift the forwarder. A three man setup is better. You, just, you can't get drivers. There's no drivers out there. Not ones like us. <laughs> Who out there isn't worried about something? Yeah, of course I do. Jesus. Um, but I have to try and make myself not. Um, you have to kind of grow up and put your big body pants on and just go with the flow. Have faith in yourself. No offence to you, but don't message me stuff like that. In fact, nobody ever messaged me stuff like that because life's not black and white. And you you don't love the poor. You don't. You just hate the rich. So just keep that shit to yourself. Couldn't be fucking... Um, I fucking love it as well. It's great crack. It's a good conversation started with the boss as well. I might get more fucking money. <laughs> Our little Jane's after waking up from a sleep that she badly needed. Now she might look very grumpy right now. But this is a good sign, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I think I think it's broken. I think can't breathe through this side, and it keeps bleeding every so often, and it's very sort of touch there, and there. She nearly fall. I'll be alright. Of course you do. The only difference is I don't give two hairy fucks about them. Because I have enough to do, I imagine I can't spell that. No, I can't spell it. Sorry, I can't spell it. So easy. Definitely a hundred little geese. 
Should I just pour petrol on him and light him on fire? That's all. That's all I'd do. Very easy. Uh, sorry, there is not that many left. There's a few small, a medium. There's eight left in header grey large. And there's two XLs left. After that, I won't be getting in anymore. So, ow! <laughs> <laughs> I won't teach you if you stay. You can't. I can't do it if you're jumping on me. <sighs> Stop shaking. <laughs> Get out yeah. before your dinner. Yeah. You want to get out, but we're only getting dinner now. You have to get your dinner. The dinner is going to be here, and you're going to have to get it with your hand and put it. You're not getting out. Please stop playing drums. Please. Come on, you're gonna break stuff. <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna get through all these questions. I have four sisters and I have six brothers. Big family. Kids are in bed. That is an impossible, never ending question to answer. But I use them now as a form of entertainment and education, and they do educate me. Wildly. Is that right? Loki. Case in point. Like, you see? Like, I don't know about you, but that makes me laugh. That gives me a right giggle. Like, this part, think about it. Think of the frame of mind. Think how weird they are. I have really, really cool jackets coming. Not yet, but they are coming. And they're feckin' epic. Well, if the difficulty just getting the plan and through is anything to go by, I think that we'll get that hurdle over and done with, get an entrance in, maybe you shed up and then we might just sit on it for a while until things calm down because it's lunacy out there right now. Fucking crazy. Bye Greg. Greg done a great job minding Uncle Vince fence, look. Uh, bye Greg. This actual area up here, it's behind our home place, up the mountain. And originally, most of our ancestors, Cuddyways, came from here. There's a real old village, Wood Road there. So yeah, most Cuddies that shit through a hole that you'll ever meet originally came from here, back in the day. And oddly the area is called the island. Don't ask me why, it's not surrounded by an ocean. Not even an island, so go figure. Not very color coordinated today, yeah. but that's the coldest day that we've had here, isn't it? Go through you, go on, I met this this morning from Did you didn't make it? No. She turned useless. Since she went on that podcast, she's changed. She changed notions about herself now. Notions. Oh. Like, no, she made me last night for dinner. Chicken pie. Fuck a chicken pie. Oh, Rouge. It's wrong, David. Greg sponsored by Cameras. That's not, that's a Kilkenny. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it? It's a Kilkenny man. Are you a Kilkenny man? I like Kilkenny, yeah. Would you be a brain, Cody? Anyway, babe, brain now, she's 108 years of age. Sound, isn't it? Sound, though. Mm. Oh, I love you, man, yeah. <coughs> There's Uncle Vin now, heading home. After doing his bit of work. And you're all probably thinking, he pulled up with us to say, I'm very proud of you and you're great lads. And I'd say now he's gone down saying, look at them useless cunts. <laughs> they have it fair handy. Sitting drinking tea. 
When he was at the timber, that was county winch territory, wasn't it? It was. It was hard work then. Hard work then. Now it's all easy. Yeah. That is one cold day. I'd be very, very surprised if there isn't 26 foot of snow today. Take it, Greg, you better go my way. Or I will put your head through a fucking wall. There's not a man on earth stop me. Except Greg himself, he'd have one box to head off me, so I'll probably won't be doing that. That's just me talking shit. Maybe I was a bit harsh. He's cutting a little bit more of a loading bay for me. So I'm just being a prick. Don't mind me, I'm just being a fucking prick. So I would like to take this opportunity to address a lovely man that sent me a quite long email yesterday stating how unhappy he was about my use of the profanities C-U-N-T and F-U-C-K. I am very, very sorry that I didn't get back to you sooner. I get a lot of emails. And I would also like to take the time say and I mean this I really mean this isn't there a grand fucking cotton stretch in the evenings like isn't that lovely like look at this look isn't that lovely lovely beautiful beautiful ah oh, I'm back yes, that's bitterly cold I'm not complaining about the cold but that's shopping cold and I'm not complaining about my sore my nose my nose is very sore Carefully, what you can hear. Listen, yeah. bastard crows. One thing about Ford, the electric windscreen doesn't belong the ice in the windows, doesn't know anything about them though. I don't want to let it down in case it damages the rubber. It's, it's not mine, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? What? What's out there this morning is what they call the freezing fog and for anyone up in Leitrim that doesn't know what a freezing fog is that's when there's a fog and it's freezing This is just blasphemy John Deere jacket Matthew Harvester Flying it Super Army soldier won't know I hate him There's so much timber on the ground I'm a soldier, he's got guns and knives and sedentary devices, and he's got diabetes. <laughs> you might think that's insulin, it's actually adrenaline. <laughs> he's going injecting himself with adrenaline, and he's going to go kill his lunch with a knife. <laughs> well, you're nearly down to this end of the wood. Nearly, but I hope you're fucking going to load me down there for me. Yeah, my hole. I am not. Nope. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> I'm cutting nice big juicy lines of timber. I'm stacking it nice and putting lovely, lovely brush pad down for you. Oh, Jez, you'll get a harm when you see it. With loading bay? Mm -mm. No. Vicky made me a nice lunch. Adam made his own. <laughs> Super Army Soldier. Would never let anyone make his own lunch because he'd be afraid he'd be poisoned. Because when you train in the army, you learn that you only eat the food you've prepared yourself. Because there's always people trying to murder you and assassinate you. Aren't they? Yeah. If you were in the Secret Service, what would your code name be? Adam, 001. Huh? 001. No. <laughs> Did you ever climb down a mountain with someone on your back that was injured? No. You never had to abseil down a mountain no. with an injured person tied to you? No. Really? Yeah. Oh. Um, I would love to have joined the army. I, I think I would have been super. Adam's telling me loads of stuff. It sounds a lot harder than I thought it was. But what was it? What's the difference? Private and an officer. Yeah. 
and the officer is 24 months train. Yeah, I think it's either 22 or 24 months train, yeah. And is it the officer that mounts the private? <laughs> no, you said something about mounting. Don't put up that. No. Don't put up that. What? Don't put up that. <laughs> Sorry. I, I picked it all up wrong. <laughs> mountain is a term to use for what? I, for say, loading ammunition or something like that. The checking it out and making sure that it's safe. Yeah. So, what, I I picked it up in a different way. It's just that uh, my head sometimes can be in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing seedy about officers mountain privates. <laughs> always looking after Super Army soldier. People always say to me, Dave, David, are you the best harvester driver in the world? And I go, no, I'm not the best harvester driver in the world. In Thinnens. In Clearfell? Yeah. What the best of them? But only because many of me get driving in Clearfell. Especially Clearfell like this. Hey, <sighs> Doink! I hate that. I hate that uh, with the magic of number four. Uh. <laughs> Another night of training, me and Gara. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's fucking not easy. We're, it's hard we're in there. a grand spot now. They're out in cold and we can see every fucking thing that's going on. So they can't say we're not watching, can they? And they look over every so often to make sure we are. Oh yeah! <laughs> I don't know. Kilkenny man. Who is Kilkenny Tom? He's taking over Brian Cody's job next year, aren't you? No one's gonna take Brian's job. He <laughs> rang Brian Cody and he says, "Hey Brian, uh, pack your fucking bags. <laughs> You're leaving." <laughs> Brian Cody. Super Army soldier doesn't eat mushrooms. Thanks. Okay. Adam. Is that um? That's an outrageous, that's an outrageous feed. It's grand, isn't it? Appreciate that now. Thanks, Jack. The things that this rapid response unit can do in one day. It's not even funny, is it? Yeah, but you can look at that. I told you before. Never fear. This girl is here. That's it? If in doubt, give me a shout. <laughs> That's the story, like that. though. I like that. I like that. It's going to be a long evening. Will be, yeah. yeah. Birds, nature, dirty, rotten, little, feathery, two-legged fucks. Oh, birds are lovely, birds are lovely. They're shining their piss comes out of the same hole. They mix it together, turns white, lands on your head. Really? You like them, do you? <sighs> in the big boys for this fuck you John Deere for that grease nibble that fucking stupid place look at Gara off down there driving around like he fucking owns the place some fucking man and the reality is he wants a puck in the mouth I like big butts and I cannot lie Yesterday I spent the day on the 901 cutting big juicy bastards. Today, big 1270G fluffy pencils. Go figure. Oh look, look. Gone home. Ow! Oh sorry, sorry everyone. Just chronic pain me back. Carry the bastards. I love the big sexy arse on this yolk. Ah, great work done this day. It's time to go home though now. Time to go home. Oh, let me see. Oh, you look lovely.
Why don't we, me and you play soccer tomorrow? Show and see. What's the man in me? Show the muscles. Show the muscles. Holy... Holy cow! Hello. Hi. Hi. Where's your nose? Where's your belly? Where's your ears? Where's your neck? Neck. Yep. Yeah. Where's your eyes? Where's your fluffy hair? Yeah. So clever. <laughs>